Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sparsel? Oh. oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. Madam Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Badolf had been turned into an inferior. And I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> no. No. This can't be. <sighs> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Madame! Nice to see you again, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potion. Sorona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. 
He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Sorona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabel was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hall clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. This must be the cavern Mrs. Bottle mentioned. We still need to visit the cave to find Sorona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk lumps while I'm there. Better have a look around, see about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. Revelio. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased.
This must be Serona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have this back. Taking down that troll in the village circle. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. She taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times. To put it mildly. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Expand the arms! Good also! Good Fringo!
of a mudblood being thought. Surely that should never happen. We have here. Again. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Don't be shy, for I can't wait to watch you try. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented... Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the dark arts. So he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him.
I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. It's not that I'm not interested. And you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the Scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Thank you. 